I'm Nick, welcome to BioGear. This is a Tumi Alpha Bravo Nathan backpack. It's one of my favorite backpacks ever made and actually my favorite everyday carry backpack. Let's look at why. Okay, so quality on this bag is nothing short of epic. Inside and out, this thing is just wrapped in luxury. The exterior of this bag is all ballistic nylon. The interior is all embossed polyester. It's a great fabric, definitely miles ahead of all that parachute material crap that I find on every other backpack I open. And it's just, I can depend on it not to scratch up my, my devices and electronics. So if you like rocking your iPad and your phone naked, this is a good bag for you. Zippers are all super, super smooth. Each and every one on this bag is no problem to zip open and close. Out of all the Tumi bags I own, this one has been one of the smoothest zipper experiences opening and closing, so I definitely enjoy that. As far as pockets and storage go, you have a large front compartment that is really good for putting in all kinds of miscellaneous junk and garbage. I like to keep a power adapter in the front pockets here. You can keep a cell phone in there, uh, wallet, keys, anything. Speaking of keys, there is a leash that you can clip your keys to so you don't lose them if you choose to use this bag more as like a, uh, a purse instead of putting them in your pocket. Be advised though, the pin loops do not have stitching on the bottom, so if you take your pen and just drop it in there, such as like, let's say an Apple pencil, it will fall all the way to the bottom and you're gonna have a hard time getting it out. Uh, at that point, all you, you have to literally just dig in there and fish it out through the bottom. So that's one little gripe I have about this bag. Let's go. So moving on from that pocket, the front pocket on this thing has a really good size. It goes quite deep and I usually just keep a, a tracker inside there. Hopefully nobody finds it. But it's just a good spot for throwing in something like your wallet or um, something you may want to just have easy, quick access to, such as rolled up cable. Again, every pocket in this bag has that lovely embossed polyester material in it. So no matter what you throw in there, you're probably not going to get scratched up unless you just pile a bunch of garbage in on top of each other. So the mid pocket on this backpack, also full of embossed polyester. There is no zipper pouch in here anymore. There was one on the Tumi Knox backpack, and because of having a zipper pocket on the Knox, I would not put my iPad in there. I don't want a zipper rubbing against my iPad, potentially scratching it up. I'm glad they took it out on this bag because that's where my iPad now lives. Past that though, main compartment on this bag. Your main featured item here is gonna be definitely the laptop sleeve. It is padded on all four sides and has a lot of padding on the bottom. So your laptop will be safe and sound inside this bag. There is a zippered pocket that can be used for God knows what, and an expandable pocket that's great for probably documents, folders, uh, maybe even your iPad. I'll just be aware of this zipper because it could scratch your iPad up. So other than that, there is one more pocket down here on the bottom, uh, just for some added separation. And that basically concludes the main compartment. Okay, there are two side pockets on this bag as well. One side has a plastic liner, which is great for water bottles. Also has a good air vent um, and also a spill vent. So if you spill water in there or your, your bottle's just condensating, it should vent out to atmosphere. Not a big deal. The other side is where I like to keep my sunglasses because it is also lined in polyester. It's also just a good size. I really like this pocket. And uh, if I'm not carrying sunglasses, I typically throw like my laptop power adapter in here. So nice pocket. I love both the side pockets on this bag. I actually use them all the time. Uh, so it is a benefit to have them as opposed to not. On the back of the bag, there is a magnetic hidden pocket as well. You put anything chunky in here and you have a laptop uh, at the same time. So let's say you drop your phone in here, but your laptop's in the bag as well. It could start pressing against the middle of your back. So be careful how thick of an item you put in here, but something like cash is no problem. I usually just stuff like a receipt in there if I'm going somewhere and bought something that I don't want to lose. Anything nice and thin that I just don't want to lose, I'll dump in there. Okay, straps on this bag are super padded. Uh, very thick. Um, they do loosen up over time, uh, as most used to me bags I've seen do. Um, but these straps are really comfortable, especially for long periods of time wearing it. Um, I've been to like Renaissance festivals and worn this bag for uh, three, four hours and had no issues or complaints at all about padding. That mesh 
the panel is also well padded and is ventilated. Uh, there is a luggage pass-through sleeve here, so if you want to set this thing down on top of your, um, if you want to set it down on top of a handle of a suitcase, uh, it passes right on through, makes it for a really easy transport through an, uh, through an airport. The handle on this bag is stitched between the two straps. Uh, aesthetically, I love the way that this looks. Um, I don't like it in practicality though, because as I'm just carrying the bag, let's say getting out of a car or walking to my car, um, I don't like that these straps kind of get pulled away from the base of the body. So I'd rather have a handle just stitched here at the top, like around where the magnetic pocket is, but uh, it is what it is. It's not that big of a complaint. It sure does look much better though. So moving on as typical with two me bags, there is a luggage tag spot on the side of the bag. So you can fill out your credentials. Probably be worthwhile to fill one of these out as it could probably help you recover your bag. And if that doesn't help you recover your bag, there is a tracer tag inside these Tumi bags as well. So if this bag ever ends up at a Tumi store for some reason or another because somebody turned it in, it may make its way back to you, which is great. Nobody wants to pay $400 for a backpack and lose it and not get it back. So one of the more unique features to this Tumi Nathan that existed on the Knox, but not the, the Nellis backpack, is the expandable main compartment. This expandable main compartment allows you to open up the bag a little further. Could be the difference between being able to fit a towel or a jacket inside your backpack and not putting it in there. The expansion pocket is not something that I use very often, but uh, in the one or two times that I've needed to stuff a jacket in my bag as well, it came in handy, so more props there. Also, if you do frequently like to carry your camera inside of a backpack, that expandable pocket could come in pretty clutch in case you need just that little bit of extra depth to fit your camera in there. So price. This bag comes in at $425 most of the time. Some models cost a little more, some cost a little less, and Tumi also has plenty of sales that revolve throughout the year. Um, I did not pay that. I bought my backpack new, but on an aftermarket site. So I ended up paying about $350 for this exact bag. This is definitely leagues more expensive than your typical backpack, uh, but the quality is also leagues higher than that same backpack as well. So who is this bag for? This bag is for people that want to keep their laptop nice and safe, uh, want to look stylish when they do it. Also people that just want to have a really well-built, high-quality backpack. Ever since I started buying two wee bags, I have not been able to turn back, uh, even with something such as my Razor Rope backpack, which I still thoroughly love the look of, I just can't get back to wanting to use that really nasty parachute material anymore. And plus, I don't like having my laptop butt against the top of a bag. I'd rather have a nice, open, easy access load. So, even though I love this backpack and love the way it looks, this is what's typically on my back every day, especially when I go to work. So. Hope this review has been helpful. Uh, hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, again, this is my first review, so if you want to see more stuff like this, just subscribe, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. If you're one of the 60 people I have subscribed already, thank you so much for being here. I don't know how you enjoyed the last three videos that I made. Um, hopefully going forward, you'll find a whole lot more stuff uh, aesthetically pleasing and more useful too. So that's been it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.